today's episode on the Misbehaving channel is going to be how to make a walking stick. We have this pile of tree limbs that are from trees that have fallen on our property here in Tennessee. And I kind of stockpile them over here. Mr. Behaven always wants to get rid of them, but I say no, pile them up there. I'll do something with them eventually. So what we want to do is we want to look for some, some branches that have some unique shapes. Like anything that has a knot in it really comes out really cool in the end. So we want something that's going to be not rotted. You want it to be pretty sound. So we're going to pick a couple of these pieces out here from this pile and we're going to make about three or four walking sticks and they also make very good presents and very very cheap to make. All right let's pick out some sticks. Okay here are our three finalists for this episode. We got one plain one that's here. I think I'm going to use more of this end and then work back down to this way and cut it off around there so we get a few knots and a few things in there. We got a funky one in the middle it's got some character. We'll definitely want to cut off any of this old stuff at the bottom, which we'll do when we get it back up to where the saw is. And then we're going to do this other big one that we're probably going to use the skinnier end. A lot of people don't like a thick walking stick, so we're probably going to chop it off maybe right around here. Sometimes I might like to make them a little bit longer, but this end starts to get pretty thick and makes it heavier to carry, so we're probably going to use that part of it. So let's get it over to where we cut them. So here we have the one we're going to work on. It was the middle piece in the video. So I have a stick that I already like the height of. It's about four feet long. So I'm going to kind of use that as a reference on where to cut this one. So I want to get a, this definitely this knot in here, a little bit of this. So I might move it up a little bit there. And then we're going to cut some of this off. We can make it a little bit longer from here just to keep some of this bend in there. That's kind of cool. So let's get cutting. Alright, here, so here's the next step is cleaning off the bark. So I take a screwdriver, some of the big chunks will just fall right off. You want to get it all the way down to the bare root. Get all the bark off. Some of it will come off easy. Some of it will take a little bit. And just peel it off. Use the screwdriver to pry it out. You have lots of mud on it and all other kinds of stuff that you just want to get everything off and get it down to the bare, the bare wood. So the next step will be sanding it. You can see the difference. It comes right off. Now this is because these have been laying on the ground for a while and haven't been on the tree. So I just use a circular saw to cut off the little knobs. Make it much easier for sanding. Leave as much on as you want to leave character. You can cut the whole thing off or leave a bit of piece. Sometimes when it's rotten, kind of be where you have to take it off because you don't want the rotten part. Just getting up towards the top of the thing. Try and leave a little bit on there for character. That one will leave and sand down. Some of these other ones are going to take them off. You don't want anything poking you. And scratching you. That one kind of looks like a hole, kind of be cool. Or if we cut it off, I think we'll just cut it off. So, actually a couple more up here. I might take some of these down a little bit. Okay, 
These will sand down all these sharp edges. This was some of the harder bark that didn't come off. Alright, so I think this one's looking pretty good. Debating on whether to take that out. I kind of like the grip of it, so I think we'll leave that. Alright, so let's get over to the sanding. Now we're going to sand, and I already got a, uh, this is 80 grit paper, sandpaper on here, and it's already pretty chewed up, so I'm going to start on the knobs, because this one's already chewed up. If I had a brand new sandpaper piece on here, we would go straight for the finishing surfaces, but while I got this old piece on here, it's You can take these down as far as you want. You can round them off. You can make them stick out as much as you want. However you like it when it's done. And just keep going down through the whole thing. And we'll get to the finished product here shortly. Get your wood exactly the way you want it. You can stain it, paint it, polyurethane it, any kind of finish you want to make it last a little longer. And here we are with the final three products. The two on the left have a lot of detail. They came out really good. The knobs really add a lot of character to it. The one on the right must have fallen recently in the woods because this one's still got a lot of green on it. So we're going to let that one dry out quite a bit before we finish it. But now we have Mr. Behaven to demonstrate the walking sticks. You can use one or two. And these sticks were made for walking. They're gonna walk all over you. See ya, y'all.